you Becca fans out there, your queen has taken over her rightful throne because a job has come in that only I can do. And I have landed the biggest name in perfume. Not Mia, not Nat, me. And I would just like to take a moment to say, fuck you to Mia, fuck you Zach, and fuck you too Jared. And Nat, we're gonna be best friends. contact from Tammy Hilfiger got back to me. Oh my god, this could change everything. So, what do they want to do? So they have a brand new fragrance out and they want to work with us because they've seen our work recently on promoting and how we portray the average Americans. You know, it's something they feel that everyone can relate to. Perfume is easy. We do the whole, uh, wife's had a long day at work, her husband's been waiting all day, you know, waiting to smell her. It's creepy. Uh, yeah, I, I saw where you were going with that, yeah. but Definitely a little, little creepy. Yeah, I think they wanted something maybe a little more modernized. Maybe something that they haven't seen a thousand times before. <laughs> you know, it's not people that wear white after Labor Day. It's not people that still wear adhesive glitter over their eyes. It is not people that fulfill the stereotype of wearing flannel and being truck driver lesbians. Jared, it's him. Not only has he ruined fishnets and white pants for you guys, but now even people are starting to dislike Ellen DeGeneres because Jared likes her so much. Do you know how hard it is to get people to dislike Ellen DeGeneres? She is like America's sweetheart. If we didn't have a president, it would be Ellen. But congratulations, Jared. You have single-handedly, manicuredly fucked this up for everybody. <laughs> that is funny. Have y'all seen this video? It's about this guy walking up and down the streets of New York getting cat called by all of these ladies. I don't think that's supposed to be funny. Why? No, no, no. I know what you're talking about. This camera crew follows these guys around the streets of New York, right? And it's basically about how men don't like to be told that they're attractive. <laughs> Wait, this is real? Yeah. So it's not supposed to be funny? No, but it's brilliant. What do you mean? For the perfume campaign. We follow a woman walking around the streets of the city and guys start following her everywhere because she smells so good. Totally reverse the norm. Mm -hmm. So it's women being catcalled. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> being catcalled by the men. <laughs> Is that your real laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so our hero is just an average Jane and the guys following her around are super hot. And they follow her blindly. Mm -hmm. And we got to throw in a couple of construction workers, mm -hmm. no shirts on. Mm -hmm. why, why can't the guys also be average looking? <laughs> um, well, because average looking men don't sell perfume, sexy ones do. True. But Rebecca just said they were looking for something more realistic. Sure, but whenever they say more realistic, what they're actually mean is still very attractive, just not as tall. Someone's on their menstrual cycle. <laughs> Come on. I mean, maybe it would still work if all the guys weren't half naked. Nobody wants to buy stuff from homely people's acts. We don't have to sell every product this way. You know, I don't want my kid to grow up thinking that this is all right. I don't want her to think just because she buys some product, men are going to throw off their shirts and flock to her. I see your point. But how do we sell this product? Look, men aren't just objects for your possession. We're, oh, we're human <laughs> beings with, with thoughts and, and feelings. Okay. Yeah, except for that one. Excuse me? No, even that one. You're smarter than you think, Jared. <laughs> Thank you. Don't tell him that. That's not true. You, come on. <laughs> we can think of something more clever, right? Yes, we can. Okay, so thank you for sharing your truth, Zach. What do you think, Rebecca? <sighs> Okay, I guess it's doable. You know, maybe, maybe Zach has a point that our clients would appreciate a little more truth in our campaign ads. Thank you. Really? That's it, huh? One man speaks up and we're gonna just completely change the way we do everything around here. He has a point. I don't care. He hasn't been here from the beginning. I have. And I am not going to just sit idly by while he unravels the fabric of everything that we've built because, you know, I'm tired. Uh, 
all the change around here. Do you want to know why Wolf Ads is always just one step ahead of us? I do tell. Because there are no men in their office. Okay. Bullshit. She's crazy. Someone's husband folded the hand towels incorrectly today. <sighs> Actually, just got my entire purse. <clears throat> Do you want some help with that? Do I want some help? No. I think so. And you know, you, don't try to call me a sexist, okay? Because I have a dad who's a man, and I love him. And, and you, you want to know what Nat's ad sounds like? It sounds like Nat's ass. Like, go Nats, okay? Which is disgusting. I, I don't think it sounds like a Nats. Yeah, I think it's bad. Well, guys, the heavens have shone down upon me. It looks like Nat has a friend position open, and I know just the girl to fill that position. <gasps> I'm, just, I'm so excited because I think I'm going to make her so happy. I'm going to be the best best friend. We're going to have matching bracelets, and every Sunday we're going to go get brunch. We'll go to that little sushi place down the street that she really likes. Guys, this is going to be so perfect. We are going to be the best friends ever and the best business partners for life.